You are now tuned in to Reckless Discussion. And do it for Jeff. Million dollars, I don't do it for less. Sleeping on me, I'ma lay you to rest. My father told me I'm the best of the best. Guess he's right, man, just pay me respect. Nike's on me, yeah, I'm walking on checks. Maybe water if I'm feeling so blessed. Hashtag, yeah, I do it for Jeff. Ha, <laughs> rest in peace, friend. And just like that, we're back with yet another episode of Reckless Discussions with my crazy ass family. So this episode is called Pick on Somebody You Can't Beat. Mm. Because this is gearing toward bullying, which yeah. is not only popular in our youth, but bullying ranges from youth to elderly. Mm -hmm. It really does. You don't only have to be a kid to be bullied. You know, adults are bullied all the time. And a person is bullied when he or she is exposed repeatedly and over time mm -hmm. by one or more persons. You know, it could be a particular flaw that um, that's not even there. You know, it, it doesn't even have to be something that you don't like about yourself. It could be something that they don't like about you, you know, and they're oftentimes getting on it, harping, harping on it. It's verbal. Uh, it could be physical. Um, it could be lies, made up rumors or anything. And most of the time, the person that's getting bullied really isn't capable of defending themselves, mm -hmm. you know? And that brings me to the first topic, have you ever? Yeah. So have you ever been a bully? I want to say that, I want to ask that. Uh, I feel like I have been a bully, mm -hmm. uh, more of a verbal bully. Mm -hmm. Like I always was like, knew the right thing to say, it makes it hurt somebody's feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you used know? to um, bully my cousin, your sister. I know, you used I to did. bully your sister a lot. And um, I love that. Um, not too long ago, you you definitely admitted to it. You were just like, ah, oh, I feel. So, I used to bully my sister all the time. And did you? So I want to ask you this: Did you like know what you were doing? Did you do it? Is was it something in you you didn't like, or was it? I have like, no fucking clue. It? I feel like I was just a hurt ass teenager, and I wanted everybody else to hurt. And I was just angry, just like you. Cause yeah, cause yeah. I bullied like my brother too. You know, he's mm -hmm. he to this day still is, like has a rocky relationship. Because he can't get over last if I said it to him. Yeah. But it was always out of love because I wanted people to do better. Like, you sitting around here, your fucking legs ashy. Put your fucking lotion on. Like, you look crazy. Or something what? like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I was a verbal bully, like, for sure. I always can be a little aggressive <laughs> with the words. Like, <laughs> she said, but honestly, I was a bully because I wanted people to do better. Like, what? <laughs> so, in a technical world, yes, that okay. would be bullying. But yeah, honestly, right. it's really just like, you're like, like sibling. You, like, what the fuck you supposed to do? Because like, you always yeah. did that to Kwan. You did that to Kwan, and that wasn't bullying. Lot, but like he, my little brother was just a dirty ass motherfucker. Like, yo, <laughs> well, that would be bullying now. Yo, he just didn't want to do shit. Like, but I remember you always man, even like telling them and trying even to keep to his booty hygiene. Bed. Booty bed. I'm like, yo, go wash up, bro. Like you stink. Mm -hmm. They like, are going to clean your room. Right, it's like out of love, right? Then, and then I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I don't think that was bullying. Mm -hmm. Was because when they started dealing with women, mm -hmm. they like, bro, I wish I listened to you. So yeah, so and I those bully are him. his brothers who are grown men now grown and men now. can certainly <laughs> beat him. Yeah, they big. So um, we're just going to keep that in the past. <laughs> Has anyone ever put someone down to make themselves feel good? Because listen, this episode is, yes, it's about bullying, but a lot of people are bullies and don't know. Mm -hmm. You I know, did. a lot of people um, can indirectly put somebody down and, and really make fun of someone and they really don't classify themselves as a, as a bully until somebody brings it to their attention. So has anyone ever put somebody down or made fun of someone to make their self feel good? No, yeah. I, I really acknowledge that I was a bully. Okay. I didn't classify myself as not mm -hmm. a bully. I was a fucking bully. Okay. And um, when was this and who did you bully? This was when recently. Sure. Okay. You know, children mom, they antagonized me. So I hit them below the belt. Makes me feel better because I'm tired of feeling like shit. Okay, so in, in your defense, I'm going to defend you. Okay. You are retaliating? Because yes. you're not a, a bully if you're retaliating. I'm retaliating, but it's still being technical, once again, mm -hmm. in this sensitive-ass world, mm -hmm. is bullying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we're going to call it what it really is. You're retaliating. Yeah, and I don't even think they bully you. Antagonizing and bullying, a bullying are two because different it hurts things, my I would say. Oh. That is, because everyone feel like when you antagonize, when, so when my bullying was, okay, boom. You know, when you use my mom, like, let's just say, that is bullying mm, a person. Mm -hmm. So I want oh, you to you're be just specific. Like your mom. Okay. You're just like your dad. And your mom like, is deceased. Yes. And, bullying. you know, so, you know yeah. your dad has faced struggles. So why yeah. before say two, that? Before two comes one, but I'm that too. Mm. So you said that last time doing. we didn't get it. <laughs> I, didn't. I knew okay. what I was doing. So I, okay. I really, I, so it's bullying. You know, I'm against bullying. 
mm -hmm. but to a certain extent. Okay. You know, you know, bullies always say they're against bullies. Though. But that's <laughs> like that's like that's true. Shit, and like, that is bullies true. Bullies always that say they're against bullying yeah. and like have so much of a hard feeling towards it. And they really be the ones out here bullying the bullying shit out of people. Fuck out of people. I'm, I'm, I'm a secondary bully. I was about to say that because it's level city shit. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> London. What, what were you saying? I was about to say that because I feel like I always like stood up for people because I don't like when people bully people. Yeah, because I've seen you stand I, up for people, like, and then I've seen you turn around and bully. I know it's a Gemini people. thing or something. I don't fucking know. But all I do know is that hard. if I see some somebody wow. something being done to someone who cannot defend themselves, or they're not even like vocal enough to say, mm -hmm. oh, I, I get like belief about it. Has anyone else ever projected how they felt? I feel like I bullied um, Prince that else. birthday dinner that one time a little bit. What Definitely bullied the shit out of me. I did. Were you bullied who? Prince me. on your birthday dinner. Oh, last I, and, year. And that was excessive yes. bullying. Like, I would not yeah. stop. Because you were bullying him with another person. Yep. You do that shit a lot, though. Bro. Who he didn't know, who, bitch. Me? Yeah, you. I be playing with everybody. No, That's the thing. No, you she thought because we were the same. But as soon as I play with her little bullhead head ass, I be so mad. She She's a like, fucking sarcastic ass bully. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, I know That's right. Get that in there. That came from but the But that one time, Chris, I do want to apologize here on national television. I do apologize <laughs> for that. Bitch, ever apologize for <laughs> your fucking eyes because I would be like, bitch, excuse me. I do because I was fucked up. I was definitely like robbing my man's for nothing. <laughs> I was really bullied for, before. Okay. My mom changed my uniform. Uh, Herself? You know, Keisha was Keisha. Right. And she changed my <laughs> uniform and it was this one big head ass fucking bully. Uh huh. They were like, well, I want to fight you because you think you're better than us because you don't wear the same shoes every day and you switch your uniform. I'm like, bro, like, ain't gonna do me. See, like, even looking back, like, dang. Look at me and look where the fuck he at. Mm. Where is he? <laughs> he might be still locked up. I don't know. Oh, shit, but he was locked up. Not though. Is. Where is he? Like, out of jail, though, yeah. bro. Like, but you look at kids like that, like, you know, they bully, but like, why should they make y'all no money? Do you ever feel like you were bullied ever? Yeah, I got bullied by a kid named Roger in elementary school. <laughs> He's white. <laughs> he was. What the fuck is funny? That's He's white. Uh, nah, he was black, Roger? actually. Oh, wow. I never met a black person named Roger. <laughs> It was a Roger on Sister Sister, <laughs> nigga. It was Marcus Hughes talking about. It was. It yeah. was. But, but I never really Roger. watched Sister Sister, but I did watch a couple clips. Oh, yeah, we right. talked about it recently. Yeah, we did talk about it. You, basically. You had you a crush on you, basically. You had a crush on me. Yeah, and Rome actually brought that to my realization. Remember, yeah. I, I spoke about my mm -hmm. um, bully. Yeah. Were you ever bully, Prince? Um, I, so I was bullied, but then I finessed my bully. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then my bully this. told on me. And got me locked up. So <laughs> <laughs> shit went crazy, man. Yeah, you so went to jail you, for being a bully? No, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, so look, so so, so I went to Overly High School, right? Okay. And there was a bully in there, yeah. right? And he was a big nigga. He was just like, you know, he was big. He used to always use his his weight to scare people and douche, like just was annoying or whatever. So I had a little hustle going on. Remember I said I was for the streets? You feel me? I was stealing cell phones. Boost yeah. mobiles back in the day, next sales, all that. So I knew he was a bully, so I went to him and said, yo, look. I got a gig going on. Oh. You feel me? Look, you just bring me back a couple dollars. <laughs> you sell it for what you gonna sell it for. We became the best of friends. This motherfucker decides to sell the phone to one of the motherfuckers I took it from. What? <laughs> yeah. Long story short, police came and got me out of the class. I got to the office. He was he sitting there with his father. Told on yep. Went to jail, man. You went to fucking jail? So really Absolutely. Yeah, because that was a federal, I mean, that's a criminal. Yeah, that's a, that's a, 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 a criminal. Why? How long you jail? All night. No, so, so I didn't, so I went to the jail, but I was a minor, so my mom had to come and get me from the, pre, the police precinct, the one in White Marsh, actually, is where they took me. Yeah. And she had to come so get me. Like I ended up having to do like, um, like community service or something. Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, that's man. That's old And, his, and you know what his, his excuse is to this day of why he told on me? Because his father made him. You still talk to him to this day? His father made him, You still talk to him to this day? I know who it is. Cool. What's his name? Cool. I know no, what's his name, yo. He's cool, yo. He's cool, he cool, he cool. he going to talk about it later, yeah, yo. I, I seen him at the car wash. <laughs> Yo, all right, all right. Cool, man. Okay, Listen, that, right. but that, but that, that was that was the only time that it was a bully, and I finessed yeah. the bully. But and the bully wants really his name because me. he deaded that shit. Yeah, yeah like we, we, we let that shit, we let that shit go. His name's yeah. Simeon. Um, <laughs> so I definitely seen him at the car wash. That yeah. brings me to the next segment. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't be stealing no more though, y'all. So y'all can leave your phones around. Okay, I'm gonna clarify okay, that now. So that brings me to the second segment, bully wear. So look, in the industry, there are a lot of known bullies mm -hmm. um, that we know. Yep. And um, I honestly, me being a comedian, sometimes we're very dark. We can, uh, people call it bullying, but comedy is limitless. I seen somebody in the comments telling me the other day, no, it's not, no, it's not. 
Bitch, you're 16. <laughs> Bitch, what? Hold you're up. 16. What the fuck you mean? Good thing you wasn't around in the fucking 80s yeah, or the yeah. 90s. Bernie Mac days. We not wasn't make around it. in the 80s. You would, no, we were around in the 90s. And I would yeah. watch uh, shit with, with my dad. Like, no, even movies was worse. Bullywear. Like I said, there are a lot of known bullies in the industry. I know one. And so I'm going to ask. <laughs> I'm going to ask. And y'all going to tell me. I'm going I'm to throw some names at y'all. Y'all going to tell me if y'all think these people are bullies or not. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give you my true opinion on it as well. Mm-hmm. 50 Cent. Definitely a fucking bully. Yeah. I feel like he's disrespectful. Okay. And like for me, the most disrespectful thing that, that he does, yeah. I don't like the way that he talks to women or about women. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, it's cringeful for me to hear a man be like, call a woman a bunch of harsh bitches. Like, mm, that's just like... A bunch like, of harsh bitches. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's and, like, and it's the, and the connotation that he uses. Yeah. And yeah. it's like very degrading. And it yeah. just be like... Damn. Cringy as fuck. Yeah, it's cringy. Thing. But I don't think he's a bully. And then he, he all just, swollen shit. I think he's a bully, but not to women. I think he bullied Jai Rule. So Jai Rule? Did he yes. really buy all the tickets to his show that No, time? I'm not talking about that part. Hell yeah, he Hold the pause. I'm not, that's that's, that was Jai Rule comeback when he did that. I'm talking yeah. about when Jai Rule just stopped responding to these disses. And he, keeps... and he just kept going. Okay. But this is the thing. He's all right, this, this is one thing that he did that I ain't fuck with. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with 50, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I don't fuck with the fact he keep on telling me he gonna put me in some shit and he yeah, don't. Coming. But you know, <laughs> no, I don't that, that, that ain't bullying. That's a bluffing ass nigga. Mm-hmm. Right. But I didn't like what he did when he was um talking about um, uh, he was going back and forth for years with this nigga. Nigga, you look like who is it? Uh, Floyd. Yeah, just mm-hmm. you not you don't you ain't, you ain't got Floyd body, but yeah, you got Floyd head. That was so, so- <laughs> and, Well, the face and he was. Beefing with this nigga, and he was, up. and he no, brought the fuck up. I don't. All right, relax. You took off your glasses. You know you just do. Just so the fucking world look at me. Look, I look. Like look. But That's why he, he had brought up like a death, like a really, really bad, uh, like a tragic loss, mm-hmm. um, in uh, Mayweather's life and shit. I think like his his best friend girlfriend, uh, had got killed by the boyfriend, and then he turned and killed himself. Mm. And Fifty Cent had brought that shit up and said that it was Floyd's fault because Floyd was fucking the best friend's girlfriend and the nigga found out, killed her and then killed herself. You know what I mean? My my thing is, I don't give a fuck what you beefing about. Damn, that's mm, crazy. That's a little harsh. So while I don't think he's a bully, cause I can't really rate you as a bully after me seeing you one time go too far, but that's the only time I felt like he went too far. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't rate him as a bully just off that one instance. But that was the only shit I ain't fuck with. Mm-hmm. But I'm still trying to get in power. Uh, right. Chris Rock. Mm, I think no. I don't think Chris Rock is a bully. I think Chris Rock is a, comedian. a yes man. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can see that. Okay. I think he's a yes I man. I agree with that. That was actually a funny fucking question um, because Will cried about him bullying him and shit. Well, not mm-hmm. only him, but after he said shit about Jada's head or whatever. I don't think that, or whatever. I don't but, think- you no. think he's a yes man? Give me, mm-hmm. give me a take on that though. I think why, he's why a yes man is? only because I don't know. I, I can't really pinpoint. I just always looked at Chris Rock as like a yes man. Like mm-hmm. I don't think he's funny mm-hmm. for one. You know, mm-hmm. I don't really think that he. And I know a lot of older people probably watching like, man, Chris Rock was funny as hell. Well, not now, shit. Yeah, well, so, it's a lot. No, it's a lot know, of people that don't like. You yeah. have your preference of what? comedians. Yeah. If you don't think his comedy yeah. is not funny, it's not. It's just like not. you know, my dad likes him. I'm not uh-huh. particularly um, <laughs> a fan of his comedy. Yeah, uh, but. I like him as an actor. I like him just mm-hmm. as a person and as a, a, a black businessman. Honestly, he's come a long way. He's from Bed Stuy, New York. Yeah. And um, he Best actually I. came from nothing. And I, I, I fuck with that. Um, I don't think that he should have been slapped for saying something. I mean, it was long overdue. Like that. It was overdue for him to be slapped. Or was will. it was overdue. I don't. All the drama, all the other drama. I that think for. I think for. It I was think, a build up on Will's end. Yeah. Well, I think that it was because. He just did some awards not too long ago, and he attacked Jada previous to this, and he let that shit slide. Well, in 2016, he said um, he boycott. He said Jada boycotted mm-hmm. the Oscars, and he said, "Who the fuck do you think you are, basically?" You mad because you wasn't invited? I honestly don't think that was bullying either, um, but I think she don't like him because of that shit, mm-hmm. and that, and it disgusted her even more when he had made the comment about her head right. being shaved. But I do think that it. Could have been worse shit said about her. I think I spoke about her worse than that in the Jess with the mess. Did you do it in front of Will? And um, what I do it in front of Will? I said, did you do it in front of Will? No, no, no. Right. I would, but I, you're right. No, no, no. And I was getting to that. And no, yeah. you're definitely right because I would never 
I probably would, but so I don't think that y'all went it, to the extent. Depends. I don't think it that y'all went to the extent of Chris Rock. I get that he was mad at him before, but like when you going at a when you at a vulnerable moment in your life mm -hmm. and something that you can't control, mm -hmm. and honestly, it can be a life or death moment, mm -hmm. and people make fun of it. I think that's what triggered it. But and alopecia pause, pause. is not a alopecia, life or death. You don't never know because situation. alopecia can trigger something else. Mm -hmm. You're right. So you're, pause, you're, you're pause. So right. Coming from a family one, like my goddaughter, she's just been born, but her older okay. brother and her older brother and sister has alopecia. Yeah. They was recently everybody bullied. knows somebody Hold on, with though. alopecia. Hold on, they yeah. was recently bullied online. That right. bothered me. Right. right. Now those two are not my children. Yeah. But they're a part of me because I look at their father as a, bro a brother. Mm -hmm. Not only did he just have a baby and that's my goddaughter, but mm -hmm. it's like the girl bullied them not knowing that she bullied them. And I understood where she was coming from when mm -hmm. she tried to make a, nah, well, I didn't know that they had a piece. Right. So I don't think, I think Chris Rock wasn't, if it was a publicity stunt or real, I don't think that he should have been slapped. Mm -hmm. I just think he should have been pulled up after the Oscars. Yeah, yeah Saying, I bro, that. look. Mm -hmm. I didn't like what you said. Right. Even though but my wife is a cheater. I get it. She's still mm. going through. But it's another what thing. But that through. has nothing to do with Chris Rock either way. It has nothing to do her cheating. It was, has it was no, 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 no. Listen, I listen to you, yeah, motherfucker. Whatever. Listen. You, you, she his her time. cheating has nothing to do mm -hmm. with her being fucking bald. So we can mm -hmm. stop with the entanglement shit. I'm not we can cheating. Stop. No, no, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Point. Cause I know no, a lot of people made fun of that. Like they really put it on that. oh, I would not like we had a fucking <laughs> like a comedian say, I would never um, slap a nigga for a bitch who ain't only fucking me. Like, all right, whatever. We not worried, but they're still married. Correct. Respect his wife. Correct. Correct. But let me tell you something. All right. I'll see you in the next G.I. Jane. You sitting on the front row. They got a comedian to host the Oscars. He was going around the room fucking with everybody. So was Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer's jokes were way extreme, way more extreme. He could have said anything he could have said anything about her being bald or whatever. He said, I'm gonna see you in the next G.I. Jane too. And then he even tried to console her when he seen her fucking face. He seen her face before Will seen her face because Will was Will laughing. laughing. He was, he was, he, he was. He, she looked at him and, and he, he was like, to the left. and he said, Chris Rock said, oh wait, wait, no, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yes. And then he proceeded, Will got up you know, gave him that WrestleMania smack. No, yes. it was because uh, it wasn't a West Philly smack. No, it was. But a whatever, he gave chop. him that. Turned around, kid. flipped that fucking jacket <laughs> like he was fucking Samuel Jackson and kept on going. This is the thing about that too. Chris Rock, like, you could tell he didn't even realize he was ready to get smacked. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He was like, oh, ha, ha. you notice he called Richard. That's somebody. That that that's that's who he just played in the movie. He was like, oh, Richard, like he didn't even know that he was ready to get smacked for that. My nigga, you laughed at that. You didn't like that your wife is, you know what I mean? But then y'all got to also realize Chris Rock didn't write that joke. When they hired these That's comedians to they host that. these award shows, they have writers. Yeah. They have writers. They, knew, they know Jada Pinkett is fucking bald. They know that. And this goes to me saying yeah. he's a yes man. Correct. He may be a yes man I, I or that. he may not be, but listen. How many fucking comedians is out here doing research on motherfuckers they talking about? Even if, even if she made it known on Red Table Talk, who the fuck is to say Chris Rock watched that shit? Right. Everybody don't watch Red Table. Like everybody don't watch Chris Rock movies. Everybody yeah. don't, everybody don't watch everything. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't think he needed to be slapped. I do think Will is tired of all the jokes over the years, mm -hmm. but we got to also realize something when um, you, expose a piece in a very fragile, naked truth piece of your life every week mm -hmm. on your wife's show or on you as the wife. They're going to antagonize you. They're going to use that. Yeah. Yeah. And the world that we're in now and Ooh. back then, even Improved. worse back then, <laughs> niggas going to use it. If you telling us our business and then telling us your business and then you like, mind your fucking business. Yeah. How? How can I? You know what I mean? So I, I love Will and I love Chris. I even love Jada. But I think it was a little too much to smack the nigga. Now, do y'all think Jess with the mess is a bully? Mm, on occasions, possibly. Okay. Uh, but possibly? That's just, <laughs> possibly. Okay. But I do think it's not it. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, for real, for real, like, you already know the character that you are when you play with Jessica the Messi. You know, sometimes nothing is off, nothing is off what you could talk about. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it is some topics that you talked about, of course, that you regret. But, but yeah. like, I mean, I could see how I could come off as bullying if you talk about somebody else, right? Yeah. But, like, because that's what it is. It's, it's the mm -hmm. news, right? Entertainment mm -hmm. news. You're not, yeah. the person's not going to like it. That's why it's, it's mm -hmm. so fucking crazy that people in real life be thinking that you have this thing against them, and you don't. You just mm -hmm. reporting the fucking news that you Absolutely. fucking know is going on like everybody else know. Do you consider Jess with the mess a bully? Not just hilarious, Jess with Jess the mess. Jess with the mess. Being mm -hmm. politically technical, technical, mm -hmm. quote, unquote, yes. Because, you know, I'm an understanding person. I feel like we're in a sensitive world. So, like, my bullying could be different than somebody else's bullying. So, I'm going to put in a generalization. Certain things that you talk about may seem as you're defamizing other people's character, which is a form of bully, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Okay, break it down for me. For my, for my answer of do I think that just with the mess is a bully, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like yes, but at the same time, no. Because it's like with just with the mess, but like London said, you know what the fuck you about to watch. Mm. You have a choice to go mm -hmm. to Just Hilarious page mm -hmm. and 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 watch this. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like you watching it for entertainment purposes. So you wouldn't take it as if you were being a bully per yep. se, yep. versus going to the Oscars and yeah. you don't know what the fuck you you know it's a comedian host, but you're not expecting a comedian to say no shit like that or to no, say no. You're not you get even what I'm expecting saying? a comedian to get smacked. You know? But when you go to your page, you know what you're watching. Yes. You know what you're about to tune into. Yes. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have to say no because it's for entertainment purposes. Mm -hmm. And I know it's, it, it sounds very cliche, but you know what you're coming there to watch. When you mm -hmm. click on the YouTube link to watch these shows, you know you're coming to get our opinion on these topics. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna right. say no. I'm gonna have to okay. say no. Why are you Nicki Minaj. Damn. Yeah. Nicki Minaj. Do y'all feel that she's a bully? Now, she's on this list because there are a lot of people that feel like Nicki more recently became a bully. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I've had her. I've had her. That. Yeah, I've I've, heard I, that. yeah, I've heard. I feel you know, like... I've, I've read it that uh, she's a bully. I can know? see that in her because she mm -hmm. has become more of like it's just the bitchiness behind what she's mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. More so, like I understand her points, but she be she just be a little bitchy sometimes. Yeah. I don't know so is it bitchy or bully? I don't think it's because because bitchy, bitchy I think, I think, is I think different. She, I think it's her delivery a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah her, I, okay. I think so that's what it is. I don't think delivery. it's a bully thing. I don't think that she don't even give me bully vibes. You know. What right. I mean? But okay. So you, it's I not, think you resonate with uh, bitchy because you are bitchy. I can yes. see that. And so they can relate. Really, I get that. Wow. Yeah. So her and Nikki could. Die. So I'm gonna take it as bullying. <laughs> You're gonna say bullying. I'm gonna bullying take it as bullying Nikki? because you gotta understand everything. Like, like I say, always technical. But I feel like she had to do it because. Not because she had to do it to become back relevant, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. I felt like yeah. she lost a sense of relevancy when Cardi B really? came out because she went on, you know, she antagonized. One bitch stopped that? No, I ain't <laughs> one saying bitch? one bitch. Yeah, yo. <laughs> I'm not saying one bitch stopped yeah. it. Yeah, because Cardi but hot now. Yeah. She is hot. Just yeah. off of one song. Superstar. One song, but, you know, whatever. But I think that Nikki felt as though she lost her, you know, her spot. So okay. I felt like, you know, she did. Like the okay. old Nikki, like I used to love Nikki. I mean, she's fine, but not really a big Nikki fan. Mm -hmm. Not really a Cardi fan either. But mm -hmm. I felt like she, when she came back, she started like. She was aggressive. Okay. And, yeah. You know, no, you no, most bear, definitely aggressive and most definitely bag, bitchy. I'm going to give you that. That motherfucker but, gonna bite you. Okay. I don't agree with the relevant thing, though. I, I, she's you know, always been relevant. That's the thing. Um, Jeff. Been in the game, like her and Drake, just been relevant since they fucking started. Yeah, Nikki, like, she just, she just, but the man like, game and know, the women game is different. I get it, and we ain't gonna get into it. We know. But I'm just saying, but they started yes. their race at the same time. Yeah. You know, Wayne, both, both of them in like mm -hmm. around same yes, time, they did. and they both been coasting. Mm -hmm. They not dropping no time soon, yeah. you know. And, and they just do what they supposed to do. They disappear for a little bit, mm -hmm. give you time enough to miss mm -hmm. them, and then they boom, mm -hmm. they come back. Crazy. I, I just felt as though that. she did it because of the the comparisons, bro. Like I think that it was just like you know what. Fuck but us. but the people started comparing. Yeah, them. the people. Not did even that the, Bom the Romeo and Bow Wow. All right, then so the people are bullies. That, people that too, bullies. but I'm thinking. So all right, I'm gonna say all right. Okay, that's what I said. Okay, put the quotes, I get it though. I put but, my quotes but, but, to now, save bitchy, me, so right. like I ain't spinning in a circle. Mm. So I put it in quotes. Okay. Put like the political technical way. Got it. Yes, because you know when you respond, mm -hmm. you're the bad person. Last but not least. Wendy Williams. How are you doing? Oh, ah, I'm fine. Oh, <laughs> One of my favorites. Yeah, that's our favorite. That's our uncle. Really? 
Oh, yeah, I love that. Yo, it's like, all right, that's the bully moment. Her and Oprah are my favorites. Right. But oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think she above You like Oprah? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. London loves Oprah. Wow. Yeah. Mm, you get a car. You get a car. Bully. Yeah, it's a car. <laughs> so, I don't think she's a bully. Wendy. Okay, so you don't. No, okay. I feel like she just reported the news. Literally. Okay, same. So she, so basically, yeah. you feel like Jess with the mess is bullyish, but not Wendy? <laughs> no, I don't know. What the heck? Uh, I don't, Only because she asks how you doing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Ron, what's she at? What's she at? Okay, okay, you, okay, you know what? Okay, me stepping outside the fan of it all. Yeah, I can see her definitely being a bully. That brings me to my next segment. Symptoms uh, of bullying. Yes. Because there can be symptoms. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like, now listen. People can develop all types of conditions mm -hmm. from being bullied. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it can give you... Now listen, y'all may, may... I did my research, and I do okay. my fucking research now, Especially right. with regular discussions. We love research. Just for the mess time, I use this real. Okay? <laughs> so, you can develop all types of medical conditions. Mm -hmm. Like, from the stress of it all. Stress and, and depression wears and tears on your body. You can go in deep depression, and you can uh, suffer from headaches, stomach pains, mm. um, insomnia. There are a lot of children... A number of children in our nation that has um, committed suicide behind being yes. bullied, and yes. and then people who don't take heed to it, like authority, like mm -hmm. authoritative um, mm -hmm. people, like principals and teachers and shit that they don't pick up on shit, mm -hmm. um, or not even parents are they're yes. not paying attention to their kid when there's a sudden behavioral change. You know, you have to really look at your child you know you have to be aware of certain things um i wish that people were more aware of it and people yeah. could sense it and and i wish people who are being bullied could talk about it because a lot of times people feel guilty about being bullied so they don't speak up they don't speak up and they they become afraid to go to school they become afraid to go to their jobs you develop flaws in your mind because people can make you think, it, it may not even be nothing wrong with you. People can make you think something wrong with you if you're constantly being bullied. Yeah. So it becomes um, a heavy weight on your mental health. And it really can fuck you up, you Definitely. know? So before we get out of here, I want to talk to the people who are bully, bullying, not the people who are being bullied. Because obviously there is something going on with those people too. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, it's not like people, uh, you know, hurt unless people, you're hurt just people. Hurt people, hurt an people. evil yes. person. Nobody just gets that way. It, it's more to it. Um, taught. People may not, it, it's taught and it's learned. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's, it's a condition. It's a condition because you may not have anything. So your thing is to bring down people to make yourself feel better about yourself and growing up i've seen that a lot so just get help for yourself if you bully someone that's not gonna make that that shit is temporary ain't it bothering a motherfucker at school and shit and then you going back home to your shitty life ain't he got no fucking food to eat really bad damn guys so yeah <laughs> you know think about that because <laughs> That's going to be your reality when you go the fuck back home. <laughs> and that person that you bullied has food. Right. And they have clothes. Well, they're pretty. And they have every... I'm not saying that. Because <laughs> there are some pretty bullies. And just like that, we're done and we're through every Wednesday. Make sure you watch Reckless Discussions. We're going to wrap it up. My crazy ass family. Say bye. <laughs>